Welcome everyone. So has this ever happened to you guys as well? You try to run a command and you get blocked by the fact that the BitLocker drive encryption is enabled. So you go into your control panel and click on the BitLocker drive encryption option to see if it's turned on. In there you see that it's actually turned off. It's asking you to actually turn it on. So how is this possible? You're wondering, you're scratching your head. You're like, is it on? Is it off? You just don't know, right? So here's the thing. Don't hit that turn on button till you watch this video till the end. I'll show you guys in this video how to actually disable the BitLocker drive encryption, although the control panel is telling you that it is not on. You need to turn it on. It's waiting activation. So the first thing you need to do is launch your PowerShell command line running as an administrator. Once you have done that, you just need to copy this command in there and that's it. Just change the drive letter to the one that you're trying to decrypt. So if it's C drive, your main drive, you will type C drive. So here's the command that I was trying to run, right? So I was trying to enable the recovery partition or recovery image on my Windows machine to do a reset, but it wasn't uh, doing that because the drive encryption was enabled. So you can't do that unless the drive encryption is disabled. So again, simple, window, uh, launch PowerShell as administrator, copy paste this command, change your drive letter to the one that you want to decrypt and we'll start doing the decry decrypting process. It takes a while depending on the size of the disk, but once it's done, you should be able to run your command. Uh, let me show you guys, uh, I'll, bit, uh, I'll fast forward a bit here and show you guys at the end of the, like, you know, the process uh, what it looks like so this took me about maybe one minute or two minutes because i didn't have much on the drive it's a brand new system fast nvme drive so this is what it looks like at the end so as you see here, it's all done decrypting and in the control panel it's showing there is no BitLocker turned on. So that is all you need to do and I can run the command now. So I was able to run the command and it enabled my recovery image recovery partition. But I did run into the B7 error message which I'm doing a separate video for in terms of how to fix your recovery reset options that you run into on Windows 11 or Windows 10. So I'll post that video as well, guys. So if you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please do subscribe. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Take care.